How are we doing, gang? Welcome back to the most amazing top 10. My name's Danny Burke, Instagram's down there. <laughs> And this is the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all over the world and turn them into a nice little top 10 video so you guys don't have to. And today, we've got the top 10 people who look like cartoon characters. When I was at school, people used to say I look like this guy, Ron Stoppable from Kim Possible. I don't know about that one. It's kind of still debatable. What do you guys think? But some people really do look like cartoon characters. So let's have a bit of fun with this one, guys, and jump into it like we always do with that number 10. Someone found this guy who looks just like Carl Fred the old man from Pixar's Up. He's probably the closest a human can look like Carl without actually having their head flattened out. He's got the glasses, check, swollen looking nose, check, and he's even got the same thin lip smile going on. It's amazing. I actually want him to be my granddad. He looks like he'd be a very comfy granddad. At number nine, this girl looks very familiar, and helpfully, she's standing right next to her frozen lookalike, Elsa. If you still don't believe she looks like her, then check out this picture of her in a costume. Not bad, right? I mean, like a lot of pictures on this list, you're not gonna get a walking, talking cartoon character, but if I had to pick a real life Elsa, I'd probably choose this girl. On to number eight, talk show host Larry King has been in the public eye for over 50 years now, but it's only in more recent times that he started to look quite a lot like Professor Famsworth from Futurama. Oh yes, I see. Good news, everyone! It might be their oblong shaped heads, hunched shoulders, grouchy demeanor, or possibly the fact that they're both pretty old. But these guys kind of look like two sides of the same coin. Larry, if you're watching this, please don't be offended. There's actually a lot worse things to look like on Futurama. Like, nobody wants to look like Zoidberg. At number seven now, we've got Macklemore, one of the most famous rappers in recent years. And someone on the internet pointed out he has an uncanny resemblance to Roger Klotz the bully from 90s Nickelodeon show Doug. Roger was wearing that red hair comb over over 20 years ago. He also had the leather jacket look down to a T. Check it out. To be honest, I think Michael Moore has some explaining to do because you can't just go around copying random 90s cartoon character styles unless you want Roger Klotz to drop a diss track on you. Just saying. At number six, we've got this guy who looks a lot like a character from The Simpsons. Well, this one's actually kind of easy because there aren't many old looking Simpsons characters with grey side hair and protruding teeth. That's right, this guy is a real life Mr. Burns. Now I'm not saying he's as evil as Mr. Burns, you know, I mean for a start, I think he's smiling, but yeah, the narrow eyes, the nose, the mouth, the suit, and that hair. He's only missing a Mr. Smithers before he can become an evil billionaire tycoon. Halfway through now at number five, and we've got comedian Scott Thompson, aka Carrot Top, who used to look a lot like this. But then he got plastic surgery and now he looks like this. And a lot of people think that this looks like this. Lino, leader of the Thundercats. Now obviously Scott doesn't have the awesome powers to be an actual Thundercat, but there's something about his new plastic surgery eyebrows, his long red mane, his vest and his cat-like physique that is very Thundercat-ish indeed. What do you guys think? At number four now, and this woman here with her framed glasses and wavy black hair looks like the spitting image of Consuela from Family Guy. I honestly thought it would be hard to find someone who looks like the Hispanic maid, but this picture goes to show that everyone out there really does have a double, although sometimes their double can be a maid from Family Guy. So if you guys ever get frustrated because people say no one ever looks like you, just try looking in a cartoon. At number three, I didn't think it was possible for anyone to have a head as big as Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. I mean, that thing's clearly a joke, right? It can't be humanly possible to have a head as big as that. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's possibly even bigger. Yeah, he's also got the same puffy blonde hair as Beavis. I can only imagine the reason he looks so sad is because he's got the worst rash ever on his forehead. Or maybe he's sad because he doesn't have a real life butthead. But my head's pretty big, so maybe together we can be a real life Beavis and butthead. Let's do it. For number two, we're going over to Bob's Burgers. And if you guys take this woman's 60s style haircut, her pink 60s glasses, and her orangey pinky cardigan, it makes her look a lot like Linda Belcher, wife to Bob from Bob's Burgers. I think she looks so much like her with this outfit that she's either A, at a Bob's Burgers convention, 
B the inspiration for Linda Belcher or C waiting for someone to put her in a top 10 people who look like cartoon characters video. What do you folks think? Well guys we've looked at a whole bunch of cartoon character lookalikes but now it's time for our number one and we've got Andy from Toy Story. This one is my favourite. Yes he's posing like that with Woody and Buzz Lightyear because he too realises how insanely alike he looks to Andy from Toy Story. Look at the eyes guys, look at the eyes. It's all in the eyes man, and the nose, and also the mouth. Okay, it's it's all in the everything. Seriously though, before I saw this picture, I would have said that Andy looks like just any ordinary kid out there. But now, now that I've seen this picture, he just looks like this guy, and only this guy. This guy is Andy. If his friends really want to freak him out, they could move his toys around when he's not looking, and then he'll really think he's Andy. All right guys, that's all we got time for. I hope you like some of them, and I just want to remind some of you guys out there there that these videos are a little bit of fun. We try and do a healthy mix of these kind of fun picture based ones and also the educational ones so there's something out there for everyone. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos let us know in the comments below. Also thank you so much for subscribing guys if you have already subscribed and also thank you for subscribing if I just reminded you to subscribe. If you want to check out some of our other videos there's two floating over there and thanks as always for watching Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burr, you can follow me on Instagram down there and I'll see you guys very soon. Soon.